So we are going to talk about, you know, Frankel over here. What do we have in Frankel? Let's, let's, you know, quickly talk about it. So when an anion is displaced from its regular position to an interstitial position. So what is that? Inter, between somewhere, you know, between somewhere between the lattice points, right? Interstitial position, right? From its regular position, it's been changed somewhere, right? It's not like a uh, vacancy in which particles were removed. It's not like interstitial in which particles were added. It's like a combination of the two that, you know, particles are moving from somewhere to somewhere else, right? From their normal position to do, from their normal position, they are moving somewhere else. Get it? Right? Okay. So this is basically what we call as the Frankel defect. Now have a, have a look over here what's happening. So think about it. We have a perfect crystal over here. Things can be repeated. All is good. Oh my God, what just happened? Oh my God, what just happened? Right? Okay. Now, right? This is what I'm trying to tell you, right? So particles move. This is like a combination of the vacancy and interstitial one. Now, obviously you might think that, you know, did the density change? Will the density change of the overall crystal? Not like a unit cell, but the overall crystal per se, right? Okay. Smaller ion, usually cation is dislocated from normal site to interstitial site. Right? It creates a vacancy defect at its original site and interstitial defect at its new site, hence a combination of the two. It's shown by ionic solids having large difference between the positive and negative ions, right? So, uh, you know, like when you have a very small cation and a very large anion, these defects are very prone to show, right? Okay, remember, there could be a question based on, built on just this one point, right? Understand? Okay. Density of the solid does not change. Obviously, this is this is pretty pretty basic stuff, right? Density does not change. Again, you have some examples. You want to remember, remember, although I would not push it on you. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, let's, let's, uh, you know, uh, go forward and let's, let's deal with the short key one and let's see what does that have, right? Okay. So what does happen over here? It arises when a pair of cation and anion of equal valency is missing from an ionic crystal. Arises when a pair of cation and anion of equal valency is missing from an ionic crystal. Get it? Right? This is what I'm saying. Right? A vacancy defect in ionic solids. So when vacancy is there, be sure that the overall electrical neutrality of the overall lattice is not affected. So however po many positive charges are being removed, the negative ones need to be removed so as to, you know, remove the equal number of negative charges as well. So that, you know, the charge, the net charge of the crystal doesn't get affected. Now have a look, we have a perfect crystal. What do we do further over here? We have these two. Notice these two, these two over here, these two notice. Don't worry, notice again. This time around, you know where to look at, right? So this is what we have. Notice people, this one and this one over here, right? So what is happening? You see them glowing, now they're going to go away. Mm -hmm. And you have these over here, these are going to go away as well, right? So this is what we have. Now let's head on, head on over to the short key defects per se, right? Let's, let's talk about what these have in store for us. Okay, so let's see, right? So these uh, iron pair vacancies, they obviously decrease the density. Why? Because, you know, you're removing something. So this is a vacancy version of the ionic solid, right? Okay. Furthermore, that point is that, you know, this is shown by the solids which have small difference in the sizes of cations and anions, right? So the point is, the Frankel one, the earlier one, is the one where is the difference is large between cation and anion. This one over here, on the contrary, on a contradiction to the previous one, happens when the sizes are, are comparable, right? There again, another question could be made just out of that. Right? Okay. And those were some compound names which you might want to look at. But then again, I'm not going to push it on to you to remember these. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Let's, let's move forward, people. So, 
number of short key defects in ionic solids as actually, you know, uh, that number is quite significant, right? And the point is when we say significant, you might actually laugh. But yes, this is indeed a significant number that there is one short key defect for 10 to the power 16 ions. Yes, that is significant, right? Okay, cool. Fine people. And another interesting fact over here as well, right? AGBR shows Frankel as well as short key defect. So another important information for you to remember, right? Okay.